So yes, uh, as and when we have the amazing Miss Rao. Oh, I see that we've got Miss Anila Rao on stage with us. Ma'am, please come on up. A big round of applause. All of us were very, very eagerly waiting for you. Miss Rao, as and when you, you know, move your steps on stage, please come on up. There's a tradition at Exito. We want you to give a short, super brief, non-tech answer only. Only non-tech answer. So today, you'd be winning us over with a winning WhatsApp commerce, right? So today, you're going to be talking about a lot about WhatsApp. If you were a WhatsApp status, what would the status be? Um, I think it's going to be digital nomads for us. Wow. <laughs> Off, it's like, at the top of your mind? My God, uh, ladies and gentlemen, on the top of uh, Mr. Rao's mind, not prepared, digital nomad, totally stealing this word and using it somewhere else to sound incredibly smart. Absolutely amazing, Mr. Rao. This is your cue, and stage is all yours. Thank you so much. Hello? Cool, okay, great. Um, so, hi everyone, my name is, um, yeah, I know my name. My name is Anila Rao, I'm the VP of APAC at Haptic. Um, so that third point is where I was like totally ready with this, right? But uh, yeah, I think, um, you know, at Haptic, we like participating in these events, meeting all of you, so I think honestly, all of you are here to, um, well, get a lot of ideas on CX, right? I'm sure there are many, many ideas out today. You're always thinking, okay, I have all of these um, users of mine. How do I make that experience hassle-free, easy, and honestly, just like enjoyable, right? I'm sure all of you are thinking, we need to make it fun. We need to make it enjoyable. So there are a lot of ideas, right? But I'm only going to talk about just one, WhatsApp, right? So pretty interesting. I'm staying at this hotel. And right at the lobby, right, they have um, this one big board which says, if you directly book through our mobile app, I'll give you like 30% discount, right? Now, 30% is a lot of discount, but um, it said download the app. Um, now, I know nothing will make me download that app, right, just for booking, making this booking. So I thought, like, like why is that, right? See, honestly, think about it this way. If for every brand I downloaded an app, I'm just going to have so many mobile apps, right? And and I guess not everybody has the luxury of having like 256 GBs on their phone. How many of you have 256 GBs on your phone? Raise your hand. Okay, so you guys are the luxury ones. But like the masses of India, they are actually deleting apps just to download your app, right? So so look at that entry barrier. They want to they want to engage with you, but they do not want to like download an app just for you, right? But, but maybe I think if, if this, this hotel lobby had like a QR code to their WhatsApp, maybe I would do that, right? And let me, let me give you some numbers on WhatsApp. Like 1.3 billion people in India, 575 million are on WhatsApp. And do you think an Indian will ever delete WhatsApp? What do you guys think? Never. They will never, ever delete WhatsApp, right? So had it been the case that this, you know, this brand wanted to interact with me absolutely on WhatsApp, right? And that's why this is just one word on one slide. I am honestly going to send it to the WhatsApp team so that they'll be happy with me. But, but this is just the one thing to focus on, right? And now what, what can you do on WhatsApp, right? So the thing is, you want to influence them across the customer journey. Now, now let, me, let me take an example to help you understand how WhatsApp with Haptic's AI chatbot can actually help you, right? So think about it this way. So say I want to buy a jacket. I guess I'm not wearing one today. But say I want to buy a jacket. I go to a brand, right? I go to their website. I check out options. I check out like different designs. I pick one I want. I pay for it, right? Immediately, I get like this WhatsApp message which says, hey, thank you for purchasing. You know, by this date, it's going to get delivered. And it says, you know, if you want to track your order, check your cancellation status, return your order, do it right here. And there are a whole bunch of buttons, right? I'm like, oh, wow. I don't have to go back to this website. I can do it right here, right? And assume, say, a full one week later, they say, you know what, Anila, you were looking at um, this out-of-stock laptop bag. 
it's in stock, right? A notification comes in. What you are looking for is available. Do you want to buy it? And, and think about it. It's just not a notification. It's just not a message. It's saying buy now. There is a button which says buy now. And immediately if I click on that button, I can actually look through a catalog, make a purchase, and get done with it, right? Do you see how this entire experience of you know, pre-purchase, purchase, post-purchase post is just happening on WhatsApp. So technically, the business is operating entirely on WhatsApp, right? Now that is the future goal, right? That is the end state. Now let's see how it works. So, so all of you guys know Geomart. I don't need to give you some numbers. I'll still give you some numbers, right? 200 plus stores. We have, you know, uh, 10,000 plus SKUs, 100,000 orders a day. How crazy is that scale, right? You know, Geomart does 40% of its business on WhatsApp. Can you imagine a company like Geomart at its scale is operating on WhatsApp, right? And, and how are they doing it? So you know that jacket and laptop bag I told you about? Now let's see a live demo on, um, on Geomart itself, right? So, so you see on top over there, green tick, verified. It's not a number, it's a name, right? It says, hi, it's already personalized. It says, hi, Anila, let's start your shopping experience. There's a menu that opens up. It wants to confirm my PIN code so that it only shows me things in stock, right? So I confirm my PIN code and immediately, like, it says view items, right? This is how cool it is. A catalog has opened. This is, we have not gone to any app. We are inside WhatsApp, right? This is, you know, WhatsApp commerce along with Haptic that you're seeing over here. You're just like looking through it. You're like looking at items. Right, you're picking things that you want. What am I buying? Okay, I'm buying some butter. I'm adding it to cart. You see, you got you got to see about Amul butter. You got to see their details. You got to see this rice item, right? So these are all single product messages that you're seeing. Adding to cart, right? I can at any time go to my cart. What can I do? I can change numbers. I can remove things, right? Oh my God, I think I'm buying five butters. I hope I change that back, but. I think we're just removing things, adding things. Now, so think about it, right? We have done a commerce experience right here on WhatsApp, right? And, and we're actually going to like check out. We're going to make payments, you know, integration with payment gateway, integration with WhatsApp pay, all in this one place. We are not going anywhere, right? And immediately what will happen is it will say, hey, thank you for making your purchase. Track your order here. And we're back to the support. And then we're back to engagement, upselling, cross-selling. It's like, it's completely, completely linked, right? And, and now let's look at the numbers right here. So Geomart was actually the very first business in entire India to do WhatsApp commerce. And the very, very first business to do, you know, payment through WhatsApp pay, right? So honestly, I feel like we're a little bit of a trendsetter at Haptic because these guys with us show the path, you know, for the rest of India to follow through with all this new technology, right? So you can see in the first week since we um, went live with Geomart, look at those two numbers, 80% payments completed via WhatsApp. What does that tell you? You know, they believe in the security of WhatsApp and this whole thing. You know, you would think I'm trying something new. Would I pay? I think for a lot of brands, we don't even pay online because we're so scared if that brand is real, if it's going to work out. But because WhatsApp provides so much security, 80%. And you see that 95% repeat users. I am telling you, you guys go check it out. You know, buy what you have to. You will never go back. You will just go click, 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 click. You know, you're sitting at work. You're on a call. You're just like buying things so very easily, right? So it's very, it's honestly super, super addictive. And, and, and don't think... This is just for e-commerce. This is just to buy that butter or that rice, right? So a whole bunch of companies, whole bunch of companies are doing this. Think about like financial services, companies like Kotak Life, you know, IFL, Tata Mutual Fund, Upstocks. What are they doing? They're signing up customers via WhatsApp, onboarding them, right? They're doing the full process. What does it do? You're doing customer acquisition on WhatsApp, right? So that's a big deal in itself. So say if I was doing, I was signing up on the website, right? and I stopped halfway and I broke that flow, a message could come to me and saying, hey, Anila, you have, you have, you know, you have, you've still not completed your, your sign up. Why don't you do it right here on WhatsApp, right? So super, super powerful. You can see, you know, over there, Disney Hotstar, right? Disney Hotstar has 50 million customers. They use WhatsApp very specifically to like engage them, you know, retain them, grow them, push them up the different subscription, plans overall, right? So across industries, 
definitely a lot of capabilities, right? Now, now, now say you tell me, you know what, Anila, totally, totally convinced. Where do I start, right? So these are the four outcomes that you can drive with WhatsApp and AI chatbots overall, right? You can acquire customers very specifically. Think about it, right? I purely want, you know, X number of customers generated, right? Customer acquisition is so difficult. Like marketing folks pay like good money to make this happen, right? Acquire customers because you made it easy, convenient, you're providing them information, things like that. Convert, right? Commerce, direct revenue. You know, someday this AI chatbot should have a line item in your PL which says X amount of revenue generated from the WhatsApp chatbot itself, right? So that's convert. Engages all of your customer support activities so much easier. You're not going anywhere. You know, you're doing all these order tracking, um, checking your claim status in insurance, all of that. Delight is, hey, okay, I've, I've got them hooked. How do I cross-sell? How do I upsell? How do I engage them? How do I get more customer lifetime value, right? All of these things are what's available. And of course, you want to know more. This is my very passionate team sitting around you and outside. So yeah, thank you, everyone. I hope this was a little bit insightful. And uh, yeah, this is just the start of the WhatsApp journey. So uh, thank you, and have a good day.